Bitch Nerdcast. Uh, I guess we're coming at you with some snurd bites in yeah, person, though. In person, snurd bites. <laughs> I better still zoom you. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird to me. I mean, I have my laptop over there, so <laughs> we're no, just we, standing different. How are you going to zoom? Just, oh, my God. you over there. I'm over hey, at here. least it would noise cancel the echo out for us. <laughs> so, yeah, we're talking about Dexter. Which Too many tuna sandwiches. That's what it's called. It's episode six. Okay, okay all right. Yeah. Um, a lot, but not a lot happens in this episode, like you were saying. And, and when you think about it, it's still a good episode, though, because it builds up a lot of – it builds up and it adds kind of like a confirmation about some of the things we thought happening to be the truth. So yeah. I like that about it for the – if I'm just giving an overview real quick, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I guess one of the things I would – like, let's start off at the beginning of the episode. Uh, from the end of last review, you know, Kurt was talking with Harrison, gave him a job. Yeah. And that's pretty much how this episode starts off with uh, Harrison – or doing Kurt, chores around. Yeah, he's he took, basically like kissing ass so that he took Kurt's advice though. Yeah, and, and yeah, he is kissing he's, ass. He's basically kissing ass so that Dexter will sign that that permission slip to work for him. And yeah, it basically boils down to, of course, they get into a fight, and then it's over, and he gets the job anyways because Kurt forges a signature. And also, this kind of uh, shows how um, Kurt. Or like Harrison is leaning more towards Kurt, Kurt. Yeah. Like as a fatherly figure. Yeah. Exactly. It totally is, and it's funny because if you think about it, he, Kurt really reads as a Trinity type. Yeah. Because like he's like he preys it, on he preys what, on females and younger people. What's funny though is like how you say that it's it's kind of the opposite happening where Dexter came in and kind of was like trying to. Like father, like be yeah over Trinity yeah, yeah and, and now then, it's in reverse like with now Kurt. The, yeah the older man is looking at him like oh you have a son that could potentially be my son so very strange so yeah so at the end uh, they're at a wrestling match which Harrison has been talking about you know what I mean Logan's been trying to have uh, uh, Harrison join the wrestling match it's a little dirty the opposite team does a little dirty uh, yeah. elbows Harrison in the and eye Kurt and Dexter manage to show up for this this the other team hits Harrison and pisses him off. And he goes back to the thing, and then he talks to Kurt. Harrison ends up, they ends up beating him pretty much. He he pins him. Yeah. And they call the they call the match. Yeah, he, he won, he, he but Harrison him, taps out, and he's like, "Match over." And he just there's a moment. <sighs> yeah, he literally just that moment of him staring, and you pointed it out how Dexter immediately caught it. Like I know that look, and he snaps the other kid's arm. Harrison yeah. snaps the other kid's arm. It is brutal. And then basically, Kurt is like, "Good job, Harrison." And like Dexter straight up just made he like said that. he said he's proud too yeah he's like i'm proud of you i'm proud of you and he grabbed that's that scary shit and though kissed dude. him on the lips <laughs> 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 it's like wrong, wrong movie um <laughs> <laughs> no but and then dexter runs down the bleachers and is like get the f- enough is enough kind yeah, of yeah he confronts kurt and right away you can tell instant enemies especially yeah. what happened before which like Good you said call. like what you said though we'll we'll cover that but and, um and then this really leads to the very very end and we might as well go over this real quick and then we can talk about whatever we can just bounce off around from the episode because it's a slower episode so this might actually make the episode sound a little bit better hearing two drunk idiots talking <laughs> about it. Um, but then there, Logan the wrestling coach slash cop kicks out and he's like you two gotta go Harrison and Dexter have to go they're walking down the hallway and that's when Angela calls Dexter Angela was looking for the body of Kyle um, Kurt's son and accidentally found the body of Iris. Yes, the, the, her, the, it was a man-made cave. Which yeah, like they found the, like in this in the same cave where I think Dexter went. It has to be. I mean, yeah. it looks like it. Yeah, it's the one where he at least around that same area. Bear, right? Yeah, yeah, and they find a man-made cave, and um, they find Iris in there. And the and reason how they she knows it's her is because she has the uh, Native American wristband. The bracelet, yeah. yeah. And it's like the same one she was wearing when she left or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then uh, she calls Dexter. And she's like, he's like, hey, it's Jim. Or, hey, Angela. And she's like, I don't need Jim. I need Dexter. <laughs> right. That's what it is. So, so since we're talking about Angela, and, I mean, she has the least really amount of parts. Let's talk about her real quick. Because um, when the episode first, when she introduced her again... She confronts uh, 
Jim, or should I yeah. say Dexter? Yeah, and that part's so funny when she pulls him over. And he's like, <laughs> "Hello, mistress." She's, cop. Yeah, she's like, "Show me your uh, our, uh, license and registration." He's like, "Yes, mistress." <laughs> yeah, I yes, mean, mistress. yes, I mean, police officer. And then she confronts him about being Dexter, though. Yeah, he got a really good sex after. That. <laughs> <laughs> and something's coming yeah. up, you know, something really. Yeah, good. no, but then she's like, "Not that," uh, like you said, "Not that registration." Show me your other one. Dexter Morgan and she shows the obituary as proof which is kind of funny and then they go to the um, whatchamacallit uh, the the police station yeah. and that's when they have that talk and that's they basically break up and you see her be a bitch like yeah. she's kind of over exaggerating about the whole thing I do like how Dexter kind of pulled the like woe is me like yeah. oh my wife died like said, are you buying this yeah cause yeah, he, like, he did he did a little look. look he's like yeah he's just like doing it and he's like yeah. <laughs> it is dude <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's the, I did something wrong. Did I do bad? <laughs> <laughs> Is it working? Are you buying it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you buying my, my pity, pity me eyes? <laughs> yeah, but, like, he, he pretty much tells his whole story without obviously no, telling yeah. the serial, serial killer side. But, I mean, she buys it, and she believes it. And you were right, because I wasn't sure if, like, he did do anything wrong. But you were right, though. He he. He says it right in the beginning. He's like, I don't think faking your death is well, illegal. Which non- I think it is. I think it's fraud. It's but, something like that. Depending but out there. Maybe how the way he did it, it wasn't fraud because maybe he didn't collect any insurance money yeah, or he, something. That's exactly what I was yeah. thinking is that he died and, and he didn't do it for fraud, he, yeah. fraudulent reasons. He did it and went and changed his name like yeah. anybody could do. Yeah. It just so happened to be when everybody thought the previous him died. Yeah, so. exactly. And then that's, that's one of the reasons why she got mad at him too is because... She's like, he's fucking right. Everything, even every time I called you Jim, he lied. So every time she was. Yeah, because if you know women, you know if you've ever done anything <laughs> wrong, they're going to bring it all back. You know that one time you looked at that waitress's ass? <laughs> <laughs> ten years later. Oh, God. Ten years <laughs> later. <laughs> we're at, honey, we were at Hooters. <laughs> you won. So yeah, with Angela, she also just ended up um, not much. Like she t- talked with the podcaster for a little bit. Yeah, she basically her that whole episode is really just her breaking up with Dexter and then going and telling the podcaster not to fuck with Kurt, which we can talk about the. And podcaster also, she next. Ta- uh, she talks to uh, what's his name Logan, and then she she like tells him that Kurt's the killer, or at least he's doing yeah, something. Or fishy. she's doing something fishy. Yeah, and Logan does not believe him at all. Which which is crazy because she's like, I went to the motel in Manhattan. And, and she has it, a picture too. She has a picture. Yeah, proof. she's like, this is who they're saying is Kyle. I don't know whoever. I almost yeah, yeah, said yeah. Butler. But that's from <laughs> season five when he's acting like, or season four. Oh yeah, yeah, when yeah. He yeah. tells Trinity, his yeah. name's Kyle Butler. It's Kyle Butler. <laughs> um, well, that's yeah, another man. callback. Yeah, I, I her that whole episode for Angela is just her going basically just like breaking up with Dexter and going and finding uh, Iris. That's yeah. it. it. It's super tiny. Um, but we didn't we didn't really talk about the funniest part of the show episode when Dexter saves uh, Mary fucking Mary. Fucking oh Gil. yeah, yeah. So the, like you said, the podcast. So let's talk about her. Yeah, next. yeah. Um, go ahead, please. Yeah, because there's well, a, quite a bit that actually happens around her. So what we were talking about when she talks, <laughs> that was a weird noise I just made. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you heard that? I was like, the hey, fuck was I that, just, dude? I just thought maybe you <laughs> fell into another dimension for a second. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> um, so the the whole conversation that the whole conversation that she had with uh, uh, Angela was Angela telling her not to confront Kurt, not to talk to him, anything about what because she was there obviously with the uh, when they saw the Kyle footage. Yeah, and she obviously that's what she does. The first thing she does is go straight to him yeah. and or Angela's like, like, "Don't go do this. You're gonna fuck up my investigation." And she goes right to Kurt after that. And uh, not only that, it was like she went to like the most nonchalant. Like the the know, one the bar most public place that Dexter and Angela go everybody to. goes to yeah, like everybody she, in the town and right off the rip runs into Dexter I like, know uh, yeah and they have a media, they they end up having a little what she said she shouldn't do so she, she goes and does that with Kurt and then this is when she pretty much catches him on a lie because she um, Dexter's recording yeah but how he does it is super slick Ben pointed out this is Ben's catch. Apparently, he went up to the bar because he always plugs in his phone to charge at the bar, and he had it recording. He plugged it in, left his phone there, ordered a pastrami and french fries, and left. And I was like, how well, did he, he get this footage? He, got, he, uh, he didn't sit at the bar, though. He sat at the table. No, he sat at yeah, the yeah, table. Yeah. And when you pointed out he recorded, I was like, oh, that's right, because in almost every episode that he's been there, he asked to use the charger. Something almost. like that, yeah. So it kind of set it up. Um but then Kurt and the podcaster, I think Mary, right? Yeah, Mary fucking killed the, yeah, the, the podcast. The podcast. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah. it's Mary also. Um, 
But uh, unless it's fucking, which would be weird. <laughs> but um, <laughs> her and Kurt are having that interview, and you were talking about she gets catch- caught in a lie. No, he does. Or he does. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. He does. So you didn't actually. And then that's what he brings her to the cabin. Yeah. And um, and Dexter is listening to that recording the whole time. Fall and then going and following, following them, them. Yeah, as he's like, listening to them. Remote cabin. This sounds <laughs> yeah. like something I would do. Right. <laughs> and uh, the funniest thing too is he brings her in into the the little basement area where he like pretty much traps his victims. But it was just funny because the way they made it seem because it was fucking suspicious you yeah. walk into somebody's basement or cellar or whatever it was and they close the doors behind you they make you go in first and they make and yeah, they close like, the you door have a whole house right there why is he in the cellar yeah, yeah dude. That, that's so, another one and then you go down the cellar and there's a steel door oh that's right you 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 said he was in the cellar matt that's how he got her to come back yeah was with uh, matt he said matt's at the house uh, so he was his name was kyle um, but it's Matt. It is Matt. <laughs> We've it been calling him Kyle this I've whole been calling him Kyle. <laughs> Me too. God damn it, Kyle. <laughs> so his name's Matt. Matt. Yeah, yeah. You'll see a little correction throughout <laughs> this whole video. You'll just see Matt flash on the yeah. photo because we're fucking stupid, <laughs> mainly me. Um, no, but he tell, she does, he does. He goes, Matt's at the thing, but he's in the cellar for some reason yeah. behind a steel door beneath the house. So yeah. I'm like, he must have his headphones in knocking on the door. Hey, Matt. You want to go check in there real yeah. quick? <laughs> oh, you got those new soundproof headphones in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, Matt. <laughs> yeah, that was um, a bad part. And Dexter interrupts, and he's like, I thought I seen some, like, teenagers run down here. What's going on, have you? Yeah, <laughs> dude. He had, like, the lamest <laughs> excuse ever, which would never work, which is already... Well, at least it wasn't Red like flag he came one. in there and he wasn't like, you got any milk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, might as well have, honestly. Might as well have. The first red flag, though, was with uh, with with when he brought up the thing, I think in the second episode about Matt driving the boat. Yeah. This was the second red flag. And the third one was when he confronted Kurt at the end of yeah, uh, this and, episode. And he's like, oh, I was just driving through here. You so did. at this point... Kurt and fucking oh, they, no, they're, they're and, enemies and it sucks because this is gonna this may end up becoming another situation where Dexter knows there's something off about the character but the character's a step ahead of him and now of Harrison ha- yeah and it's like I have to kill either Dexter or go after Harrison now to get Ooh. my to make sure I'm safe because this guy knows too much right like, so, so yeah this episode that's where it's exciting is like you kind of see Dexter be the hero for a second so um I mean, nothing really happens else Other with, the, than that, with yeah. the podcaster. She, dude, literally, he uh, get Dexter does get on her good side because of this though. Yeah, because yeah, he drops her off at the bar and she waves yeah, at him. Yeah, he's everything. like, hey, you know, I just was and, out here in the middle of nowhere. I was wondering if I could take you out to somewhere else in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and he also, this whole episode or most of this episode, he suspected her of okay, yeah, and it was giving me like anxiety. It, he he thought that it she, gets a little gnarly. He uh, Dexter thought that was the one that let Angela the cop know about his true identity yeah. as Bruce Wayne. I mean, Dexter Morgan. <laughs> and so um, this know. whole episode felt like he was going to kill somebody that did, it shouldn't be killed. And like, instead ends up being like a moment of like hero, heroicism. H is for hero. Yeah, bro. H is for zero. Um, <laughs> or heroin. But um, since we're talking about Dexter, I mean, let's, let's, let's go over what he was doing. Cause I mean, like we said, he gets pulled over. Yeah, he has the 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 interaction with Deb, or that that the first part where they show him the interacting with uh, Harrison in the beginning. Yeah, because yeah. Harrison was doing the chores. Oh, he took you know, what we didn't talk about. Hold on, we didn't talk because we, we talked a little bit about Dexter. He's kind of bouncing around or whatever. I think he's kind of pushing the dad thing, but because he's looking through his stuff with grabbing. So he, I think he's like accidentally. Pushing Harrison away into Kirk's arms in a sense. That's how it feels. Because you know what I mean. He he grabbed Harrison is being hella nice to him. Cleaned up, did all the chores, and then Dexter's going through his stuff still. You know what I mean. Even though Dexter, yeah, knows or highly suspects that it was Harrison who hurt the uh, the school shooter, quote unquote. So yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I I think whatever he's doing now is obviously going to affect what Harrison does in the next few episodes <laughs> one thing that needs to be also reinstate like reset like more emphasis needs to be put on is dexter is no longer operating by the code no at all yeah that's like, true it, it, so that's some, yeah he hasn't been doing that at all at all like wow. i think it's a huge factor because in one breath we hear him being like what does he say he's like uh 
I've been a little off my game lately. And then in the next breath, he's like, I don't need no code. I've evolved. And I'm like, what if he hasn't evolved? What if the code is – he's, like, trying to find himself? Is he going to be off the rails or on them? You know, and um, so, yeah. like, a lot of this episode – it's or a lot of the last – like three episodes has been him off the rails where it's he's, like you're so off your game he, it, it, it kind of makes sense though because he's been getting bounced off every other wall because every yeah. wall i should say because angela his back his harrison first of all and then his backstory coming up and then you know what i mean like he's he's still unraveling in a sense yeah he's like <laughs> unraveling and unraveling and he's also trying to uh find himself so he's trying to in a sense like because they also did the uh, therapy episode which obviously he lied and didn't open up like he would want to but at the same time he is kind of trying to try because he tried to have that dinner with Harrison which I think he would have opened up to him <coughs> at that point that's in, in reality this episode really does boil down to <coughs> Dexter not opening up like <coughs> in this time and we're, we're used to seeing that by now, <coughs> nine seasons into the show. But, like, <coughs> this new season, he is very different. Very different. And it's like, I, I don't know. <coughs> you put that the best way. If he would have just opened up that dinner, it would have been nice. Yeah. You know, but. Maybe that dinner is coming. We're fucking. <laughs> Dexter is like, I have a fault. I'm a cannibal. Man. <laughs> um, <laughs> My victims. <laughs> So, now let's talk about Harrison. Harrison, man. Okay, you got to lead this one because this is some of your favorite parts. So, I'll, I'll just talk about, the uh, like I, like we said, beginning, obviously, you know what I mean? Doing chores and everything, has a conversation with Dexter. But I want you to say this part because he went to school and he brought what kind of energy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> big, big energy. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, he's he like, came in swinging a fucking hog. He's like, yeah, I saved you. I saved you. Oh, yeah, I saved you, girl. I didn't save you, but I will tonight. <laughs> like, dude, I he, he can't, this motherfucker came in dick swinging. Dude, he was, everybody was smiling at him. He's like, what's up? Dude, what's yeah, up? Ben. Yeah, it's me, Harrison. Dude, you, I like that. You were like, what kind of dick, what kind of energy? <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, dude, dude. He did. I think about that. It's, the second time we watched it together, I was like, Dude. This is fucking ridiculous. Like, yeah. he, everybody wanted his dick. And all the boys, all the girls. Like, Anybody he wanted. Yeah, he mm-hmm. literally could have been like, you, you, not you. <laughs> and Fuck looked, you. Yeah, and looked at a teacher and been like, yes. Yes. You. <laughs> You're last. I get an A. <laughs> but uh, that's when... Um, what was her name? God, Audrey. Audrey. Audrey, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she um, she talks to... She meets up with Harrison. They start talking. She's like, she should come over later. Do some Netflix and chill, pretty much. And the next thing that they show with them is they end up. Uh, Harrison comes into the room and sneaking into her room, pretty much. And so there, she he walks into the room, but he the, his attire is a little kind of a little weird, you know what I mean? It's a little funky, and uh, he has the gloves on and everything. But it makes sense because it's snowing outside. Yeah, yeah. He comes in through that window. He sneaks into her room, and it's like pimp mode. And he kind of opens up to her too, because for real. For real. He kind of opens up to her too because he says like uh, he he wants like you know how he wants to hurt people yeah. and all this stuff and we talked about this too because we just watched this right before we recorded this was how they both are on that level but obviously Harrison's on a different level than she yeah, is. Yeah, there's like two. They're on two. Like it's like they're on the same level but like two different platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Like definitely. Like um, I'm good right now. Um, they there's definitely like a chemistry between those two and she basically says look you can hit it <laughs> she's <laughs> like you so, wanted it it's all yours if you this want is the next she... Im- and this is the next important part he turns towards that camera and my friend what is in his back pocket dude it's that switchblade that he brought with him that, dude. that fucking sh- straight shaver switchblade so like something you would use to cut bushes with <laughs> <laughs> i mean i or, mean that's true beards like that's dense. true i mean it's technically a bush a face bush <laughs> yeah face bush, or a bush bush uh i do want to talk a little bit more about the conversation that he had with audrey though because like we're talking about different platforms and different levels though but because because yeah, right. he he obviously said something that he did he hurt somebody but he didn't talk more about 
he was yeah, on his way on his the, what was it the bus stop and the on his way to miami on the bus yeah. yeah and some dude tried to touch him and he was sleeping and then he never said anything but he fucked him up basically he something, something had to have happened but, and then audrey he was obviously yeah yeah he did he right he hinted at something so something think about that. he had to do, he he had to have done something a little crazy maybe in miami he got a little on some bad stuff maybe he learned a little because miami didn't look too good when texter was there so or he was sold into a sex ring and here we are, dude. Dude. No, I, I don't know. I, I, I Harrison's character becomes less and less interesting to me. Just because... It's just a whole puzzle. And it's we're a just huge getting, puzzle, yeah. but I'm like, this better be, at the end, be like a holy shit puzzle. I'm hoping. Like, hopefully he killed Hannah. Something weird, because he says... Because when he says he... in the When he's talking to the therapist, the way he says, well, she died of cancer, oh, it kind of yeah. looks just like... You know what I mean? Like... It's a little glossed over. Yeah, you're right. And he starts to blame Dexter more and more first. He's like, he's like Dex. I mean Jim. <laughs> nah, he. Uh, you're right. He does that conversation, and then she basically is super comforting because she's like, I know I've lost people. I've yeah. been on my own too. I, my, I'm adopted. Like, you know, like she, he was in adoption. There is that connection. But she there. did have time with her dad too. It's something we didn't know. Yeah, she did. You're right. She's winning the pity battle. <laughs> um, but so. So she had to give up the pussy. Wh- <laughs> so, and then the end when uh, him and Harrison Harrison starts, you know what I mean, wrestling. Down, doing, yeah, wrestling. Uh, yeah, wrestling. He sees Dexter coming. He's like, Shut. Yeah. <laughs> Shut, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I, it's I, like I, that episode of South Park where Kyle's uh, or. Um, What's you, it? You lift, bro. Yeah, the, what's his little br- Ike? Yeah, Ike. he's like, "Fuck you, Kyle." You even fuck lift, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you even lift. I'll fuck you up, Kyle. Why don't you come kick the baby, bro? Come on, kick the baby, bro. <laughs> dude, he all did. He's in his like tights. He's like, "Come on, that's what I fucking thought, bro." <laughs> so stupid. I'm finally not a virgin, not because some of got some guy on the bus, but because a girl let me. <laughs> oh my god. No, he does. He has that energy of like. Oh man! But uh, so yeah, the whole wrestling thing, and they <laughs> ended up fucking breaking his arm. Yeah. Um, something you pointed out though, and I didn't notice was the other squad on the. Yeah. The other high school. The other wrestling team before he left, it was like, "Hey, fucker!" <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "I'm gonna fuck you up. You're not safe anywhere, or something like that." I think that'll become a problem in the coming episodes. Um, scrubs. And one thing before we talk about the last I guess what one thing I want to bring before we talk about the last uh, uh, subject we kind of talked about this was what if Harrison is planning on killing Audrey the way his mom died remember like with the the knife yeah. and cutting her oh, legs yeah, in the he bathtub snuck in his room you said that dude yeah when you said that that's a very plausible thought I'd be okay with it Dude. I mean, dude, okay. that'd be nutty. He's been like traveling the world, killing like Trinity. The whole time. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy, bro. Like, this is how I was made. Oh God. The last thing in this episode is as we talked about is Angela calls Dexter because they she finds Iris and she asks. She's like, I don't need Jim. I need Dexter. Yeah. And which I think we were both saying that we think that it goes into. Dexter Morgan's police background, like the splatter case and how did she end up dying? Yeah, and she how means she... like, yeah, she's like blood spatter analysis. Because she looked into it, she has yeah, to know. She knows. Yeah, she knows what for kind sure. of. Yeah, and I think, yeah, she's gonna be like, look at this be- dead body. Tell me what you see, kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Oh, that'll be really interesting. It's got to lead back to Kurt. It's got to be Kurt. You right? see, and and there's something crazy. Or what to- if it's like a rich circle of guys? Um, he did. He may have been intended to kill her, like Trinity. So either that, or he's he's like trying to practice, or like trying to. But he. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, that, that we kind of glossed over to they. She they did. Get, uh, Harrison and Audrey got caught banging. Bang. Yeah. Well, we just kind of thought that went unsaid. Yeah. But um. Well, that's another thing. They that's probably going to make them want each other more because they can't see each yeah, other. Yeah, they're like, you're not allowed to see that little cop. <laughs> he's like, you're not allowed to see that psycho little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, little boy. Uh, that's like hard when they go to school with each other. I know, dude. They're gonna, 
they're going to be fucking like rabbits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they classic. That's it's crazy because yeah, when she does call him and ask and ask Dexter, I don't need Jim, I need Dexter, right? I look at that last scene and I'm like, oh, what? We actually are going to get a scene that's kind of reminiscent of how he was back in the original, where he's like, brings his little bag. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> well, he we got a little taste of that when um when he did the thing with Harrison, but yeah. that was just like a like a five minute scene, like yeah. a three minute scene, like if that. <laughs> There's a lot more. There's a lot more that could happen, man. I mean, predictions. Does Dexter win this one with Kirk? Because he always usually wins. Do you think they're going to change that up? I think, obviously, Harrison's going to do something wrong. But I think it's going to have to be like something where we're just going to be like a choice between like possibly Angela or Harrison or yeah, or maybe like even Audrey and Harrison. Like he has to choose between his new life and his one old life them, yeah, in a sense. Uh, well, we'll see. Or Let's maybe, see. or maybe he has to kill Harrison. Maybe Kurt like grooms him a little bit, and then. Well, everybody who's around Dexter dies. So. It's I mean, this is a limited series too, so we only got four more episodes after this. Speaking riddles. I can't. I'm excited because they've been coming much faster than I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, by the time one comes up, I'm almost not even ready to watch it. I I'm know, like, dude. I'm still thinking. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, I guess we'll <laughs> I guess we'll end it on that note. I love the keyboard. It's a big rig. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you uh, made it this far, you guys rock. Don't forget to uh, check out the channel. Got tons more content. Uh, let us know if there's anything that we missed in the episode or there's something that, you know, that we that we want us to talk about or if you want us to review or anything check out the description for Colt Cannon's channel this fool's right. always got tons of stuff going on so make sure to check that out and uh yeah everybody be safe be good it's the holidays coming up especially so you know especially Spider-Man hol holidays New Year's be safe yep take care of yourselves and uh all that good shit with all this crazy weather too so if you guys be safe Snurtcast out, out. ho 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 <laughs>